Hello po. Ma'am. Rinig na po. Si David. Mag-start na po. Eh, ano, Angela, start ka. Nahati, ano lang kita. Po? Ano, sige, pwede ka na mag-start. Nahati, ano lang kita. Ayan, kahit alternate na lang tayo. Sige po. Product. A product is anything in the form of goods, service, or idea consisting of a bundle of tangible and intangible attributes that can be offered to a market that might satisfy a want or need and is received in exchange for money or something else of value. Explain po. Uh, there's no need. Ito na, na, nandun na explanation. Okay, so we have three components of product. We have the core, the formal, and augmented product. So when we say core product, um, kahatian kita ano ang ilis. Ano tayo, alternate tayo para hindi ka mag-isa. Sige po. Okay, so we have three components, yung core, po, yung ma'am. formal, and augmented. Yan, so pag core, ito yung totoong binibili or ito yung binibili talaga ni ni buyer and then for the for formal ayan yung actual or actual physical or perceived characteristic of the product and yung augmented yan yung mga support items that complete the total product offering for example yung mga packaging ganyan okay next ah uh, angeles yon alternate tayo consumer product refers to a wide array of manufactured goods which are purchased primarily for personal, family, or household purposes. Ayun. So, yun nga. Um, given as a definition, yan, ito yung mga product na um, pag binibili, kinoconsume agad, ginagamit agad. And next, ibang product na nire-resell pa, ganun. So, Okay, ako naman. No? So, for consumer product specific categories, we have the convenience products. Siyempre, ito yung mga nabibili sa mga convenience store. Shopping products, the specialty product, and then unsought products. So, when we say shopping, ayan, uh, product consumers purchase and consume on a less frequent schedule. Ayan. And then, yung specialty naman, um, likely to carry high price tag relative to convenience and shopping products. So, mas mahal sila compared sa convenience or shopping. And then, on sort product, ayan, purchase, uh, purchases is unplanned by consumer. So, ito yung mga unplanned nating um, pagbili ng product or yung mga product na hindi natin na expect na bibili natin. Okay, so next, David, ikaw naman magbasa. Categories of products sold within the business to business market. One, raw materials. Products obtained through mining, harvesting, finishing, and other trades that are key ingredients in the production of higher pro order products. Two, per, ano, pro proceed material. Product created through the processing of ba basic raw materials. Three, equipment. Product used to help production or operation activities. Okay. So, yun. Um, sa ano naman natin, sa accounting naman natin, siguro na, ano na to, na-encounter nyo na to. Ito yung mga, yung raw materials. Yan, yung mga process, tsaka yung equipment. So, given naman na yung, ano, yung definition. Okay, continue, ano, David. Basic components. 
products used within more advanced components. Advanced components, product that apply basic components to produce products that offer an important function required within a larger product. Product component, product used in the assembly of final product, product. True, this could also function as standalone product. MRO, maintenance, repair, and operation product. Product used to assist with the operation of the organization but are not directly used in pro pro producing goods or services. So yon um yan difference uh, differentiate goods services and experience so yon angeles <coughs> yan uh, angeles ikaw na dito sa goods have the following attributes goods have the following attributes number one Physical objects for which man exist. Two, their physical attributes are preserved over time. Three, ownership rights can be established. Four, they exist independently of their owner. Five, they are exchangeable. Six, unit ownership rights can be exchanged between institutions. Seven, they can be traded on markets. Eight, they embody specialized knowledge in a way that is advantageous for promoting the division of labor. labor. Okay, so ako naman. Service may have the following features. First, uh, it, it can be intangible, heterogeneous, inseparable, and perishable. So when we say intangible, yan, um, ito yung mga products na... Uh, hindi, hindi natin nakikita or hindi natin nakahawakan kundi nararamdaman lang natin. For example, yung mga services, yan. So, heterogeneous okay. refers to the uh, multifaceted different experience that may be had from a single type of service is considered as a factor of distinguish goods from service. Inseparable. Service may be said to be ayan, linked with customers in terms of production. Okay. So perishable, yung service are not a stock or a fixed asset. Yan. So once na nabenta na or nagamit na, yun na yun. Okay. Yan. For example, ng services, experiences. Yan. Yung mga, ayan, experiences come about whenever a company intentionally uses service as the stage and goods as props to engage an individual. Yan. So next life a uh, product life cycle. David Product life cycle. The product life life cycle has four very clearly defined stages. Each with its own characteristic that mean different things for business that are trying to manage the life cycle of their particular products. Continue. Introduction stage. stage. This stage or cycle of cycle could be the priciest for a company launching a new product. To growth stage. The growth stage is normally characterized by a strong growth in sales and profits. Three, maturity stage. During the maturity stage, the product is established and the aim for the manufacturer is now to keep the market share they have built up. Decline stage, eventually the market for a product will start to get smaller. And this is what known as decline stage. Okay. So, we have the repacking and discounting. Ito mga, ano to, mga techniques and stuff. <sighs> sa mga product. So, repacking provides a way for the company to give a mature product new image. So, kung papapansin nyo, may mga products na nagpapalit ng mga packaging. Yan. So, para ma-refresh yung product nila. Ganun. So, katulad nung sa mga pansit kanton, di ba, nagpalit sila ng, ano, ng balot, di ba? Okay. 
So, discounting din, isa rin sa way nila para maka-attract din ng mga customer. So, nilalagyan nila ng discount. Also, rebranding. Ayan, rebranding results in changing not only the packaging, but the image or the name, yan, or the total appearance of the product, yan, could also be changed. Uh, for example, um, ano ba yung may mga rebranding? Siguro sa Globe, ewan ko kung kung ano kayo, familiar kayo. Di ba dati Globe siya, naging Inove? Ewan ko kung may Globe kayo sa bahay. Yun, yun yung alam ko. Expanding abroad, ayan. Siyempre, hindi ka lang pang domestic. Pwede ka rin mag-expand ng business mo to foreign country. Okay. So, product mix. Um, Angeles, sandyan ka ba? Yan, ikaw naman. Wala ta si Angeles. Ikaw na David ulit. The product, product mix. Mix. Pro product, product means also known as product assortment refers to, to the total numbers of product lines that a company offers to its customer. Peer may, cho may, may choose to split their product mix into group known as product lines. Product line means a number of product grouped together based on similar characteristics. Mm, okay. So for example, nakikita natin ito sa mga ano eh, sa mga pure gold. Alam niyo yon yung magkakaparas na ano ng type, well, pag mga sabon, puro mga sabon, ganun. Ayan. So an organization product mix has four dimension. Yan, syempre yung yung width, yung length, yung depth, tsaka yung consistency. For the product mix decision refers to the decisions about adding a new or getting rid of any existing product from any uh, existing product from the product mix. Ayan. So adding a new product line, ayan. Um, bringing fresh variants of product or of a brand to enlarge the business and to boost pro the profitability. So, ito, ito yung sa mga product mix decision, ayan yung pag-add or pag-remove ng mga um, existing product sa product line mo or yung portfolio mo. Okay, so, ayun, um, ano ba sa Angeles? Okay, David ulit. Product line this decision marketing managers have to settle on the best length of the pro product line by adding fresh items or dropping existing items from the line to product pro product line stretching decision product stretching enables firm to fill any gaps they have recognized in the market a download ano to? Stretching, stretching, B, upward stretching, C, two-way stretching, three, line peel, peeling decision. It means adding more item with, within the present range of the product line. Okay. So, ito yung mga types ng mga product mix decision. Okay. So, production strategies, uh, product strategy is often called the roadmap of a product and outlines the end-to-end -end vision of the product and what the product will become. Yeah, so, um, uh, David again, ito. The, the na tayo. Product strategies are, pa, are follows. One, product positioning. The, the strategy is placing a brand in, the, in that part of market where it will have a approving acceptance compared with com com competing brands. Two, product elimination. The strategy is cut in the composition of a company's product portfolio by 
pruning the number of product within a line or by total totally divesting a division or business. Okay. Continue. Three product rep repositioning. This strategy means reviewing the current position of the product and its market mix and seeking a new position for it th for it that seems more appropriate. Four, new product. The strategy is a set of operation that introduces A, within the business, a product new to its earlier line or products. B, on the market, a product that provide a new kind of satisfaction. New product could be in form of the following alternatives. A, product improvement or modification. B, product imi imitation. C, product innovation. So ako naman. Oh. Sa number five naman, meron tayong product overlap. This strategy is about competing against one's own brand through introduction of competing products, use of private labels, and selling to original equipment manufacturers. Yeah. So number six naman, diversification. This strategy is developing unfamiliar products and markets through concentric diversification, horizontal diversification, and conglomerate diversification. Minsan ito yung ano eh, pagkasama ng isang unfamiliar product sa famous product as a bundle, ganun. So number seven, lastly, yan, product scope. It is determined by taking into account the overall mission of the business unit. Number eight, value marketing. It concerns delivery, delivering, ah, delivering on promises made for product or services. And Lastly, product design. It deals with the degree or standardization of a product. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa product. Thank you, David and Angeles. So for pricing, um, Yubion. <laughs> Yan, so pwede na tayo mag-start, Yubion. Hopefully makatapos tayo by 12. Malinaw po ba, ma'am? Yes. Mm -mm. Ilang ano lang to, no? Five, ano lang to, okay na to? Five slides lang. Mabilis tayo. Pricing. Pricing is one of the most important elements of the marketing mix as it is the only mix which generates a turnover for the organization. It's cost to produce and design a product, it costs to distribute a product and cost to promote it. Price is the amount of money charged for a product or service. The single element in the marketing mix that produces revenue. Pricing is the number one problem facing main, many marketing executives and many companies do not handle pricing well. Okay, um, yung next. Item, Price determinant. Oh, sige, go ahead. Sabi daw po dito, ma'am, yung pricing daw yung pinaka pinaka mahirap yung pinaka mahirap gawin sa marketing mix. Sa marketing mix element. Siya, siya yung pinaka ano. Mm -mm. Yes, oo. Kasi siya yung nag-generate ng mga profit tsaka ng mga ng income sa isang business. Yes. Unlike sa mga product place tsaka yung promotion. Next. Price determinants. Internal factors. Marketing strategy, objectives, marketing mix, other organizational consideration. Marketing strategy. Price is only one element of the company's broader marketing strategy. Dito naman daw po sa marketing strategy. Yun, eto muna yung kailangan mong ano. Wait lang. Before setting price, kailangan the company must settle 
in its overall marketing strategy para daw po ma'am di mahirapan sa pagpa-pricing. Objectives. Pricing may play an essential function in helping to achieve company objectives at many level. Marketing mix. Price choices must be harmonized with product design, distribution, and promotion decisions to structure a reliable and valuable integrated marketing program. Other organizational considerations. Management must fix on who within the organization should set prices. Dito daw po mam sa organizational consideration. Ano kailangan po daw mam na piliin nang mabuti yung kung sino yung mag-decide para sa pricing. Mm -mm. Yes. So okay. external factors. So for okay. sige, sige sige. For external factor, factors daw si Inko. Sige pa. Hello po, ma'am. Hello. Naglilinis kasi ako ng ref view. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Uh, exter external factor. Nature of marketing. Market. Pure competition, the market consists of many buyers and sellers training in the uniform con commodity, commodity like what? Copper uh, financial securities. Tama ba? B. Yes. Monopolitics of competition that mark and consists of many buyers of sellers who trades over the range of the price rather than a single market price. Oligopolistic competition. The market consists of not so many sellers so who are the extremely responsive to each other pricing and marketing strategy. Demand buyers less price consumes when the product they are buying is intimidable of the when it's high in the quality stage of exclusiveness. Economy economics condition can have a strong impact of the things pricing strategy. Other environment factors include discussing what in fact that price will have will have on other elements. It is environment. Okay. Okay, so ako naman dito. So, new product pricing. So, pri pricing strategy typically alter as the product passes through its life cycle. Ayan. So, first, the market scheming pricing is sensible under certain conditions. First, the product uh, quality and image have to support its higher prices or higher price and sufficient number of buyers must desire the product at the price. So, for example, yung mga iPhone, yung mga mamahaling bagay, dapat um ma, ma justify nila kung bakit mahali yung yung price na yun at dapat na uh, napag-aralan nila na merong um uh, sufficient na bilang ng buyer second the cost of producing a smaller volume are not not so high that can call off the advantage of charging some extra and finally competitors must not be able to penetrate the market without difficulty and destabilize the high price. So, yun, pagkalaban ng, pag, parang dapat hindi siya ma-penetrate, for example, ng Samsung, ganyan. Kasi mahirap kasi mahali yung Apple, eh. Ganyan. So, dapat ma-maintain nila yung, ano nila, yung image nila, yung, yung um, status nila sa market. Next, market penetrating pricing also have new conditions for this low price strategy to succeed. First, the market must be extremely price conscious so that a low price creates more market uh, growth. For example, sa mga divisoria, di ba, or minsan sa Shopee, mas hinahanap natin yung mga mas mura. Kung gusto natin ma-penetrate ma ang market, um, dapat mapag-aralan natin na kung magkano yung pinaka-lowest na price na pa dito yung iset. Siyempre, kailangan natin i-consider yung cost ng product. Second, production and distribution cost must decline as sales volume rises. Yan, siyempre, uh, minsan, isa sa paniniwala din ng mga, uh, mga Chinese na okay lang kahit piso-piso lang yung tubo, basta madami. Okay? Finally, the low price should assist ban the competition and the penetration price must preserve its low price situation or else the price lead may be merely short term. Okay, so for general pricing approaches, Yubion. Demand-oriented approaches. 
Consider the underlying expected customer taste and preferences more heavily than cost, profit, and competition. Under ng demand-oriented approaches, different scheming. Price scheming is a pricing strategy in which a marketer sets a rel relatively high price for a product or service at first, then lowers the price over time. Yun nga po mong sabi dyan, ano, hab magsisimula sila sa mataas na price and habang tumatagal, bumababa siya. Penetration. Pricing is the... Penetration pricing is the pricing technique of setting a relatively low initial entry price, often lower than the eventual market price, to attract new customers. Prestige. Prestige pricing is a sociological pricing strategy that sets prices of luxury products to the expectation of a niche of a niche class of customers who associate higher price to higher quality. Price lining is a marketing process wherein products or services within a specific group are set at different price points. Add even, a type of psychological pricing where price is set based on customers' perception of significant difference in cost between products, products price at a whole number value, and products price slightly below this whole number. Target pricing. It's a pricing method that involves identifying the price at which a product will be competitive in the marketplace. Bundle. Companies sell packager sets of goods or services for a lower price than they would charge if the customer bought all them separately. Yield management. is the process of understanding, anticipating, influencing consumer behavior to maximize yield or profit from a fixed, tangible resource such as hotel room reservation and airline fees. Okay. So, thank you. So, ito yung mga um, techniques or strategies ng mga companies in terms of mag-set ng price. So, hindi lang basa-basa siya price lang. Kung nga na, compute natin yung costs papatungan natin ng, um, ng, ng profit, di ba? Kung mag 25% markup cost para makapag-profit tayo. Siyempre, pinag-aaralan din yan ng mga marketers natin. So, ito, ito yung mga techniques nila. For example, instead na whole number yung nilalagay nila sa isang tag price, um, yung iba, ginagawang 999 yung dulo. Kasi may impact din yun sa mga um, consumer natin. Lalo na pag um, hindi masyadong um, familiar with the marketing. Okay? Also, yung mga bundles din, di ba? Um, instead na a la carte yung bibilhin mo, Uh, mas better na isang bundle siya para mas ano mas mura. O kaya yung ginagawa ng iba, wholesaler, ganyan. Mas makakamura ka kung anim yung bibili mo or dose or isang dose na ganun. So, may mga tek mga techniques to. Ayun, pinag-aaralan din nila kasi yung mga references or behavior din ng mga um, consumer nila. Okay, so last naman, cost-oriented approach. Um, yun yun. And for the last slide. Cost-oriented approaches. Price is set using the production and marketing costs and then adding to cover to cover direct expenses over, overhead and profit. Under ng cost-oriented approaches, cost plus pricing, break-even pricing, experience curve. Cost plus pricing involves adding a certain percentage to cost in order to fix the price. Break-even pricing. The break-even price is the price at which the sales revenue is equal to the cost of goods sold. Exper experience curve is based on the premise that the more producers do something, the easier and better they do it. Profit-oriented approaches. Involve setting prices for products that will guarantee to make money on each sale. Target profit. It is a pricing method in which a seller sets prices with a purpose to make a certain amount of money. Target return on sales. It is setting typical prices that will give companies a profit that is a specified percentage, say, 5% of the sales volume. Target return on investment. is one way of considering profits in relation to the capital investment. Competition-oriented approaches. 
involve setting prices based on competitor strategies, cost, prices, and market offering. Custo customary. For some products where tradition, a standardized channel of distribution, or other competitive factors dictate the price, above, at, or below. Subjective, subjective feel for the competitor's price or market, market price using benchmark. Loss leader. Deliberately sells a product below its customary price to attract attention to it. Okay, so thank you. Ayan, so ito rin yung mga techniques din ng mga company Ayan, in setting their price. So may mga consider din sila. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa pricing. Next naman tayo sa um, 